Fala Gamer! No vídeo de hoje vamos continuar o nosso gameplay de Indivisible, esse RPG incrível. Estou jogando aqui a versão da Steam. Maravilhoso jogo! Bom, seja muito bem-vinda, seja muito bem-vindo. Eu sou o professor Wilson Atari e, opa, este é o Cast 42, o canal de um gamer que gosta de compartilhar experiências com outros gamers. Muito bem, chega de blá 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 e bora lá! Muito bem, beleza? Vamos lá então, exatamente do ponto onde nós paramos, né? Pra cá. Gente, esse jogo é muito legal. Eu tô abismado com esse jogo. E eu não tô vendo muitas pessoas falarem desse jogo, né? Eu não vi aí grandes youtubers falando sobre o jogo. Estranho, né? Caramba, acho que é aqui. É, não vai dar por enquanto. Beleza. Ah, tem um caminho aqui. Tem que dar para vir por aqui também, né? Tem coisa aqui. Eu sou meio desconfiado, vocês sabem, né? Eu sou muito desconfiado. Eu gosto de usar nas coisas. Espero que vocês não se importem com este meu comportamento. Ok. Nossa, deu uma paradinha no jogo aqui, não né? vocês viram. Será que eu consigo? Eu não sei se quebra essa parede. Gente, olha esse cenário, gente Que da hora, cara Pessoal, nós estamos com 1780 inscritos Então já, dá uma dona no like e compartilha o vídeo com todo mundo Se você está inscrito no canal, inscreva-se no canal Ative as notificações para novos vídeos Assista o vídeo até o final, que é o mais importante de tudo E não esqueça de deixar seu comentário para que eu possa responder no próximo vídeo Como eu vou fazer agora com os Iron Scarlet Essa garota é um Ninja Gaiden Cara, pior que é mesmo, né? Ela vai pulando nos lugares e tudo mais É bem Ninja Gaiden mesmo E bem Mega Man também, cara Brigadão pelo comentário, Scarlet, valeu! Vamos lá. Gente, que demais esse jogo, cara. Oh, chegamos numa cidade. E já... Ó, oh, tem o um save aqui. Beleza. Vamos salvar aqui. E eu já aproveito e agradeço aí ao Jorge Hostilio. Ele chegou... Que luta! Que história! De fato, Jorge Hostilio, esse jogo é fantástico. Eu vou salvar agora no 1 um aqui, tá, pessoal? Pra gente dar uma mudada aqui, né? Eu sempre confundo os botões Porque as letras que mostram aqui Não são as letras do meu controle oh. é, Então o que na verdade eu tava mandando pra cancelar É o que eu uso pra confirmar É, tá uma bagunça aqui Mas ah, beleza Gente, que da hora Chegando na cidade Tem vídeo? Tem, hein? Port Marifa, the gateway to the world. Huh, for a gateway, I thought it would be bigger. We can get ships here, that's the main thing. Right, about that. What does everyone want to do? I dragged you into all this, and none of you owe me a thing. <sighs> it's okay, Zebe. I appreciate everyone's help, but we're through the sandstorm now. None of you have to stay. But I need to figure out what this Kala thing means. Find out about my own power. I... I don't even know all the stuff I need to figure out. Ajna, you are the grossest, most disgusting person I've ever met in my life. Everything around you turns into a disaster. I... I guess you're right. So, obviously, I'm coming with you. <laughs> Bomb is too. He has to come because he's mostly dead. Aren't you, you little idiot? Oh... Thanks, Razmi. Right? Am I thanking you after that? Whatever floats your boat, buddy. 
You saved me in the desert. You said you'd help me find out what happened to my brother. I'm coming. <laughs> but you leave me alone, Rosmi. No lips. <laughs> Ginseng? Well, this is a lot more dangerous than I expected, but you can't become a world-famous botanist without some risk. So, I'm coming. As am I. You still haven't fully recovered, and you need a guide as your power grows. And someone to buy you cute dresses and do your hair. What's wrong with my hair? Oh, absolutely nothing. Just for fun. Didn't your mother ever fix your hair? I didn't really know my mother. <gasps> no. Well, an Elmushin braid would look lovely for starters. <laughs> well, thanks everyone. I really appreciate your help. Oh, but Zebe? Right. I want no further part in destroying the world, thanks. I've done enough to help the charade. I'm with you only until we find a boat. Well, where a protector goes, so too must I. I understand. I'll make sure everyone who wants to stay finds a boat. How's that? Fine by me. Wait, may I speak? Better make it good. This is the big who stays and who goes conversation. <laughs> and I'd prefer that you go. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know most of you don't like me. And you have good reason. I did kill Ajna's father. I thought I was doing it for the good of the world, but Ravanavar had blinded me. He raised me since I was a boy, and he spoke so lovingly of the new world he would create. I had no idea he meant to destroy it first. And I had no idea the deeds, acts we committed were done in the name of destruction. How did you not know killing innocent people was wrong? I was told they were blasphemers against the gods. But in truth, I have no excuse but youth. And yet you are younger than I and committed no such atrocities. Ravanovar told me the heretics we dispatched would be reincarnated in paradise and live a better life. But I had never stayed behind after a battle. I'd never had to see the consequences until now. Apologizing isn't enough. I took someone precious to you, and I can never bring him back. Please, Ajna, let me offer my services to you as penance. You don't have to like me. I don't. But let me be your sword. I have no purpose. I have nowhere to belong. Please, I don't want to become some mercenary for hire. I know I'm asking even more of you, but I want to try to do something good. Let me help you save this world from destruction. Well... Don't do it. He's the worst. Yeah, he is. But maybe he deserves a chance. For what it's worth, he is being sincere. I'm... I'm gonna consider it. But listen, Dar. From now on, you're listening to me. And if we find someone who needs help, we're helping them. No discussion. I am yours to command. I will not complain. And thank you. This conversation got weird. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Let's get going. And thanks again, everybody. Gente, o jogo ele não só é divertido de jogar, mas a história é muito legal, cara. É muito legal. E essa interação com os personagens e tudo mais Bom, aqui pelo visto Vai ser uma, uma, uma Eu acho, uma parte um pouco mais De exploração mesmo, né Eu acho que a gente vai ter que conversar com o pessoal E conhecendo aí, vamos lá então, né Watch yourselves, outsiders. Huh? We're not doing anything. Yet. 
Razmi, shush. Make sure you tread lightly. This area is under the Iron Kingdom's control, and we won't hesitate to jail any dissidents. Like you took my breath. Ooh. Shh, Kadira. Who? Us? The sea? What? <laughs> nah, we're just casual. I've got my eye on you. That was close. Keep it cool, will you? I'm sorry. I just hate them so much. Okay. Mano, desenho, desenho esse jogo é muito, muito bonito, cara. Meu, para com isso. Olha só. Muito legal, cara. A gente sabe que aquela personagem lá, ó, aquela que está lá no fundo, aquela pirata, é, é uma personagem que dá pra gente recrutar. Ela aparece no trailer, né? Não dá pra entrar, mano. O que você tá falando? Vem entrar. Hum. Ok. Bom, aqui o mapa ele não é tridimensional, tá? Então eu não consigo ir para aquelas áreas. Então não tem jeito, né? Nós vamos ter que fazer como todo mundo que vai numa cidade normal faz. Sai escalando as coisas, né? Só tem gente aqui. Uma menininha, bonitinha, hein? Tem mais gente aqui. Vamos para cá. Tá? Da hora, cara. Gente. Nossa, tipo, parece que todos os personagens aqui... Oi, tudo bem? Você tá olhando pra mim? Qual é o teu problema? Parece que todos os personagens aqui, tipo, podem ser um sidekick, né? Que barato, mano. Olha aí, tudo muito bem desenhadinho, cara. Não é aqueles NPCs genéricos, né? Demais, cara. Meu, é tudo muito bem desenhadinho, cara Que absurdo
Ô, tiozinho, tá na sua cabeça, cara. Bom, eu acho que vamos ver o mapa. Tá. Eu vou vir pra cá então. Ah, dá pra subir lá, né? Garota! Boa! Interessante, tem que ficar esperto. Vocês viram, né? Tem que ficar espertão aqui. Muito bom. Meio Ela foi gentil ainda Uma placa aqui, não dá Bom, beleza, então agora sim A gente pode vir lá, acho que nós falamos com todo mundo Se eu deixei passar alguma coisa Que vocês perceberam, vocês me avisam, tá? Coloquem aí nos comentários Ela é muito literal, cara. Parece meu filho. O Ethan é completamente literal. Que... Pelo que eu entendi Essa deve ser mais uma pessoa que fica lá dentro do mundo espiritual lá Da... Da Ajna, né? Mas não entra em luta <risos> Ó, 
do Bloodstained, nós encontramos, né, o Shovel, o Shovel Knight. E ele também tá aqui nesse Indivisible, né? Eu não sei se é por DLC ou se durante o jogo mesmo. <risos> é fato. Shovel Knight. É um jogo que eu nunca joguei, né? Olha a cara de maníaco desse tiozinho, meu. Tem dinheiro, né? Estranho, cara. Muito sinistro. Ah, tem gente lá embaixo ainda. Tem coisa aqui. Preparem-se para serem comidas. Mano, muita gente, cara. Nossa, muita gente mesmo. Ok, eu não consigo alcançar lá. É, não dá mesmo. O jeito é ir lá pra frente. Desço? Desço. Ah, tem mais gente pintando aqui. Né? Ok. Ok. Estão vindo, né? Lá em cima. Com certeza tá lá em cima. Não tem como subir. Será é que eu consigo nessa altura aqui? Não, não vai dar. Bom, eu sei que tem um cristal lá em cima, tá? Eu ouvi. O que ele tá pintando não me parece a modelo, só pra entender. Nossa. Nossa. Vixe. Pop maluco? Sim, tudo bem. Isso se chama livre-arbítrio. Gente, eu fico impressionado com a arte desse jogo, cara. Vamos entrar no mundo, no reino interior? Que eu quero falar com essa tiazinha aqui, ó. É ok. Não! Por que, que você avançou? Hey, não, 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 não. Em algum lugar. Em algum lugar. Eu gostaria de te ajudar. Não há barcos. 
What? Why? Iron Kingdom won't allow it. They got everything on lockdown. What jerks. That ain't the half of it. They've been taking over cities left and right, but Marifa is a port town. Free and independent, you understand. It's always been that way. Now, the Iron Kingdom has set up a blockade around the whole place. No boats going out, no trade, no supplies coming in. What are you gonna do? Wait it out, I guess. The Iron Kingdom sent over some elite forces. There's not much we can do against them. But we don't have time to wait! <sighs> I guess you'd be from out of town. And if that's the case, you managed to get here through the Almuta Desert, so you must be made of pretty strong stuff. Yeah, my stuff is tough. Then maybe what you want to do is head to the Tower of Wisdom. It's the tallest building in the port. You can't miss it. There's an old battle axe of an oracle living there. She might know some way out of this predicament. Tower of Wisdom, huh? That helps a lot. You know, you're smarter than you look, old man. Of course. I wasn't always a dockhand, you know. I used to be a beekeeper. Oh, that explains it. Right? Yeah! Okay. <laughs> <risos> Deixa eu passar Ok Bom, então eu tenho que ir Na torre mais alta No mundo mais alto No lugar mais alto No planeta mais alto Essa me parece a torre mais alta uh, Mas talvez não é aqui Não dá pra entrar Não sei que eu tenho que acabar é Beleza Eita Que coisa de maluco Achei Anything about Wisdom's Tower? It's the Tower of Wisdom. Haven't you heard of it? Mm, no? Well, it's very famous within the scientific community. The Tower of Wisdom is a research facility run by one of the greatest minds of our time. Very reclusive, so they say. I never thought I'd actually get to come here. Ravanovar intended to destroy it once its usefulness was at an end. He said that time was almost at hand. So I suspect this may all be related to Kala. We'd best be careful. Blow it up first. Ask questions later. I'm just gonna try knocking. Hello? Hello? Wisdom? Huh, I guess Wisdom's not here. <laughs> what is all this noise? People are trying to work in here. Oh, Wisdom! We were hoping to get an audience with you, your... your... wiseness? My name is no Wisdom. What are you? A buffoon? She is. I'm not! I'm Ajna, daughter of Inder, chief of Ashwat village. I'm looking for the oracle that lives here so we can find a way out of the port. You see, this is the trouble we're living in the Tower of Wisdom. People come to you for all kind of petty things. Like I told the last 107 people who knocked on my door. I've got important work to do and won't be bothered. But... But nothing. Now, if you'll excuse me... No! Listen! We beat up Ravanovar and then I turned blue and then there was a big explosion and there's someone called Kala who... Kala, you say? And wait, 
Did you say Indra? You know about Kala? And my dad? I do. You have piqued my interest, child. You may enter. So, what do you know of Kala? Kushi says she's a destroyer and builder of worlds. That's close. She's the goddess responsible for these world cycles of birth and rebirth. When she becomes dissatisfied with the world, she simply makes it anew. Which means... We all die. Yes. And how do you know all this? I have been researching Kala for most of my life. My name is Angu. I was part of the original group of four that sealed Kala 16 years ago. I was joined by Yuri Namas, Badra, and Inder. So yes, I know your father. You knew my mother too? Such as it is, yes. I suppose you would be the child Inder picked up, coming down the mountain. Picked up? But what do you mean? Oh my, weren't you told? Ah, oh, Inder, you're dolt. Well, cat's out of the bag now. Please, go on. My dad didn't talk about the past much. Stubborn as always, that Inder. <laughs> well, we find you on Sumeru, which means Inder is not your father by birth. Like, I was adopted? But... Oh, you're getting emotional which is not something I am into. I shouldn't even be the one having this conversation with you. What is in there, anyway? Dad, he was killed. Yeah, by this guy. <laughs> well, I'm sure you have your reasons. Can you tell me a bit more about my parents, please? <sighs> I suppose. Inder was a strong man, born in the last cycle. Badger was even stronger. Oh, Mom was strong. Quite. And her strength was needed. We knew Kala was dissatisfied with our world and wished to remake it. Rumors coming down from Zumeru told us as much. And in my research, I found a way to defeat her. The four of us set out to challenge Kala. Inder sealed her with the Bamastra, a weapon he brought from his cycle. Padra protect Inder while he fired the shot. But the Brahmastra broke and was destroyed by Kala. I see. But that's enough reminiscing. Back to what is important. This explosion, you call it. The shockwave was felt around the unknown world. That was Kala waking up. And if someone doesn't put her back to sleep again, that means the end of us all. That's why I've hold myself up in here, researching. That was just her waking up? Yes, the power of a goddess is greater than you can imagine. I'm not sure how we can seal her again without the Brahmastra. Everyone will die? But this is my fault. How could I have broken that seal? You mean to tell me you broke the seal yourself? Well, I'm not sure. It's hard to remember. But more of it is coming back. I'm waiting. Irvanavar was telling me that I was the key to Kala, that I was... A piece of her. I got so angry I couldn't see straight. I felt a surge of power and I still don't remember the rest. My friends say we got blasted off the mountain. Well, this changes everything. I wouldn't be surprised if you were a piece of Kala. Let's just find out. <gasps> ah! My baby! On your guard, witch! We're gonna see Ashma's guts. Now, now, calm yourself. You are an excitable bunch. Ashna, call the power you use upon Sumeru. If you can, you'll break free. Tá, agora só pra avisar, sou eu apertando o botão, tá? Definitely the hour of Kala. Indra is dead, and you must take his place. You were once part of Kala, so you are the one to do it. I'm part of Kala? But I'm 
me. Sorry to be the one to tell you, but you were once one me. There is nobody else who can stop her. But I'm 16. Yeah, I'm sorry about that too. I can't make you any older. How could anyone hope to even approach a being of such power? A mere awakening blew us off of Sumeru. If Ajna is a piece of color, she's not a very big one. Yes, well, it's hopeless now, as you are. But... If you let me finish, it's hopeless now. But you grow. You have to. In fact, you've already begun the process. But how? These people you've gathered around you, something drew you all together. What could that have been? Uh, friendship? Iri. Iri is the latent power of life within all things. You, Ashna, possess an incredible amount of it, being a part of Kala. The rest of you are quite powerful yourselves. Each one of you is remarkable in your own right. So that's why Ravanovar was searching for us. I see. Your powers augment Ashna's. Hers augments yours. I can't tell you all what to do. But if you don't want this miserable planet to burn to ash, you're going to have to get stronger together. Burn to ash, you say? Don't you even think about it, Rosmi. I just have a natural curiosity, that's all. The more companions you gain, Ashna, the more powerful you become. But we couldn't reach Sumeru now, even if we wanted to. We need a boat before we can even begin the process. All right. That's what we came here for. True. Sumeru is normally inaccessible from the mainland. But there is another way. Observe the floor beneath you. Your path to Sumeru lies here. In the Chakra Gate. I've seen something just like this in Lan. From Lan, are you? Then you would have seen it, yes. It's one of the sacred relics the Protectors guard. You'll find similar gates in Kanu, Taikrum, and what is now the Iron Kingdom. These gates were built at the meeting points of the world's ley lines. Ley lines carry prana, the world's energy connecting all points to each other and the world to itself. Do you understand? K kind of? These gates, even if dormant, concentrate and emanate power. Undoubtedly, the civilizations that sprung up around them will be using them in some way, which will be your clue to find them. Ashna, if you attune to the gates, you should be able to align yourself with the world's prana and access the lane lines. So I just have to find these gates? And attune to them, yes. If you manage to synchronize your iri with all three gates, you can return here. Once you do, this gate should take you directly to land. And from there, Sumeru. All of the gates must be activated before this one will fully open. But try attuning your iri to it first. Okay. Excellent. There are the three realms you must visit. The Iron Kingdom, a dark nation of industry and conquest whose government will stop at nothing to expand. The city of Taikrum, lately falling to vice, I have heard. And Kanu, the lady of the Serpent Queen. It wasn't a herping nation when I grew up there. But well, things change. Attune to the chakra gates in all this, and you will be able to reach your goal. And hopefully, you'll get stronger along the way. So, how do we get there? We can't leave the port. You may not know this being from Ashwat, but there are six major regions on our island continent. Sumero is at the center, connecting the other five. Inside the continent, 
is the ocean of milk. When you can go through, you go around. Um... Right, I'll spell it out for you. The Iron Kingdom may have set up a blockade, but there are always some uppity characters who don't care to be stepped on. Maybe you'll find such a person somewhere in Merifa. Good day and away with you. Thanks, Anwu. We'll do it. I said we were gonna do it, but where do we even start? Local pubs tend to be breeding grounds for ne'er-do-wells. Let's give that a try. Thanks, Zebe. <laughs> Just want to leave as quickly as possible. That's all. E é isso aí, pessoal. Por hoje acho que já deu, né? O vídeo já ficou bem grande. Pessoal, não esqueça de deixar o um comentário, compartilhar o vídeo, se está inscrito no canal, inscreva-se no canal, ative as notificações e espero encontrá-los em nosso próximo vídeo. De coração, valeu!